Hey, tennis players. I wanted to point out two quick things from this Sitsa Pass point I was looking at. Um, one for uh, movement and then one for technique because I think uh, there's a lot of confusion about follow-throughs on the groundies and this is where it gets really dangerous to copy pros um, because a lot of times the follow-through is for recovery, not for fundamentals. So if we go back to the beginning of the point, if you look at this backhand regular speed um, that Tsitsipas is about to hit here, regular speed, it looks like he really pulls open on it. it really looks like you can almost get the impression that his swing is going to pull across his body, but Tsitsipas really has one of the most vertical swings on tour, um, where backhands, where it doesn't really go across his body very long. Now, Tsitsipas knows at his level that after he hits this ball, he's got to get back to the center of the court. So keep that in mind when you watch this. But the swing path definitely still goes out away from his body, even if that's all you need right there. Now, that little bit of follow-through is a significant amount of time, by the way, in terms of striking a ball. So he's definitely swinging out towards his cross-court target. And now he knows, hey, I got to get back to the middle of the court. So he's going to let his body swing open. Look, his right foot already gets a little step that way. We're probably going to see a crossover step. Good, big crossover step there. So the follow-through is really kinematic as a result of forces letting the racket go that way to recover. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to point out is just how uh, having this racket high on the unit turn, one reason for a unit turn is it helps you move. You can pump your arms a little bit. Your, your body really wants to have those arms to pump when you're running. And because he's running, by the way, he doesn't really have that left hand on the racket very long. You don't, you know, there's no rules in tennis. There's no rules in technique. There's suggestions and things you want to try to do. Um, but you got to be ready to improvise them. In this case, get that left hand off the racket because you're going to be better if you're pumping your arms. But anyways, to teach straight back and low is, is why I mentioned I still see it out there. Um, I teach it the first 30 minutes of a beginner lesson because it is a very important position, right? Getting down in this position is is to be honest, even more important than preparing high initially. But but don't forget, it's so important to add this unit turn as quick as you can for this re for one of the reasons being this, this movement, so you can move to the ball a little better. So two quick tips. Don't, con don't confuse the follow through with the fundamental from pros and then prepare high on the ground forehand and don't feel like you have to have that left hand on the racket to move. Anyways, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting this channel. Leave a comment. What do you agree with? What don't you agree with? More great stuff coming. See you guys soon. Throws in a slice there. And that was uh, Gail Monfils missing the low slice ball.